beautiful looking car. Mm, lovely. Hello, this is BJ from Hertz Hobbies. And I'm Brett. And what are we going to be looking at? A Hasegawa Lancia Stratos. Stradali. So, Stradali? Radia. Yep. What does Stradali mean? Street. Oh, street. So, okay. street version. Yep. Because last year, uh, Stratus. Yes. This is a Group B car, yeah? Rally car? They did do a rally car, didn't they? So, Stradali is the road version, which would have been the one that was homologated. So, they need to build a certain number, usually like 500 or so. And then they're able to race them. So here you go. This is a sort of road version. And there's still quite a few of these around. And it comes with a lady? It does. It comes with a resin figurine. Mm -hmm. So 1 to 24 scale. Very standard uh, and common size for car models. Is it so common though that the Hasegawa does a Lancia? Well, yeah, Hasegawa be... being a Japanese brand. Yeah, well the Japanese do appreciate all the really classical European cars. Mm -hmm. And particularly these, you know, 1970s. This would have been around and i mean i reckon japan must have been you know, the only place i've seen quite a lot of large uh, dolces driving around too and it's quite a few on the roads <laughs> so i really love this stuff love their motorsport well, it has beautiful box art yeah very nicely done got the figurine there in the pose that it's going to come in might as well so crack it open and have she's a look. not she's not posable is that what you're saying beige no no she's fixed pose but it's uh it's resin cast it's a really nice figure as well so Hasegawa have been adding quite a few resin figures to their cars. So the cars have been around for quite a while, but uh, by adding the figurine, it gives you a, uh, a new take on the uh, on the packaging. You can take all you want, mate. I'm going straight in to have a look at the body. Right into the body. The body is a bit that we really like having a look at. Okay, so let's do me in. Do you want to try and give me some focus, mate? There you go. How's that? It's good. Have a look at the little vent work. Yeah, the vents are really good. Considering how small this is, because there will be detail underneath it too that you can see through. Okay, you see the uh, the waistline, really sharp. Yeah. There's no sprue, or no flash at all. There's only one bit of sprue, which is across the front windscreen. Got beautiful, um, beautiful casting lines for the, yep. looks like leather, leather strap hinges that they got. Yeah. Looks like it's got a little um, casting jacking point there. Yeah. And you notice that the design of the car, it, it hooks in a lot. Okay, which means this is a multi-piece mold. So the mold pieces have matched together very well as well. You see how, how much undercut there is under there? It's huge, isn't it? Mm. It's quite bulbous. Yeah. And qu quite a narrow car, I suppose, in the chassis design. Yes. Probably not in the footprint of the tyres. It was probably quite wide and taut. Yeah. But yeah, the, the cockpit itself, you can see here how much the cockpit itself sort of is quite narrow. Yeah. We can see how small the roof is as well. Beautiful looking car. Mm, lovely. So this was designed by Batoni. And the first prototype came out in 1970. What are we looking at here? So uh, it's you got gonna, some air intakes there. It's going to be a mid mount. Yeah, mid mount engine. And this kit so doesn't actually come with the around. engine, does it? No, but you can see the bottom of the engine. Yeah, so under the subframe, you see up into the subframe. That's right. But it has that subframe as well. So I'm sure that if you want to put in an engine, you would be able to get like a third party one. But we have there. a louver that comes over here anyway, so you That's really correct. wouldn't be you'd really be struggling to see any detail in there anyway. Yeah. Beautiful tail lights. Yeah, so all the mouldings are all there. Got really, markings really there as well for your, your indicators and also for your um, uh, registration plate. Just the accuracy in the injection mouldings is phenomenal. Yeah, very nice. It's just that waistline, see how crisp it is. Super straight. Crisp, you reckon? Crispy. Okay. Yep. There we go. And headlights. <laughs> and headlights, yeah. So they've got the, uh, the recesses there. So you either have your choices of putting in just the panels for the closed headlight, or you can put on the open headlights as well. Yeah, you've got pop a choice up there. headlights. Yeah. And then you got the front grille there. Definitely wasn't a seventies or early eighties car without pop up headlights, was it? No, that's it. Fantastic. All right, what else right. have we got? Jump right, into so the we box. Got, we've got this big bag of bits here. Come on, sprue man. All right, let's open it up. We'll have a look at it one bit at a time. Eh? Jump right in there. Ooh, what do we got? Uh -oh. here? Okay, so we're going to have multiple. Um, components actually that we learnt because the kit itself uh, can be built well it was designed to be built as a rally car or the Stradale yeah so it's gonna have the rally parts in there as well so some of these wheels here these are actually the rally type wheels they're super fat mm-hmm okay so you got the thinner ones on the front and the, the fatter ones on the back yep and it's also got the racing seats on this one so some of the components you will be using but not all of them so you've got some suspension components on here as well 
some exhaust components. You got the mirrors there as well. So there's the racing mirrors and then there's the square mirrors which are on the Stradale. Right, so up there. <laughs> We've got this little intake here. That a bit from the front, you'd imagine. Yeah. So where I the radiator goes up into the where the traditionally the bonnet would be or a front front engine. That's right. So it just sits right up there, just under the, the bottom of the, the front apron. Beautiful like detail for underneath the car. Oh that's right. It's got a lot of under under panel detail. Now these are the parts that will be we'll be using in the build isn't it that's we right so we've got the these are the wheels which are for the Stradale okay so these will be painted gold we're gonna paint them gold yeah you don't want them gold you want to change them mm, I think gold and gold with red I think would be lovely on this model yeah I think so you got the seats there these are uh, more padded I'd say more comfortable for the Stradale you also got the gear shift lever there with the uh, the cover on the racing car that wouldn't have a cover at all they wouldn't worry about anything like that I think we can make a nice tan leather one there yep I reckon You've got the dashboard there mm -hmm. with all the instruments. Got some hosing. Here's your center console. And then we've got some more exhaust piping, I guess. That bit there, not too sure about. Part of the undercarriage, you'd imagine. Yep, this is a bit of the base of the underframe of the front or the rear. Yep. And some more exhaust parts. Okay, so you got that bit. And then we've got <coughs> big white bit here which is the floor pan and has the detail even on the floor pan yeah that's right so you got all the pressings there oh. which is really nice it actually has a lot of under chassis detail got the louver just there that covers up the, uh, the engine compartment with your firewall you see here this is where we've got the rally lights yeah and stuff that's right so these are the bottom mounted lights that you won't be using and that's the rear end isn't it And there's some more on the lights here you won't be using and then a few little extra bits there and there's the interior tub fantastic super nice okay move on to another set of white parts this has got a lot of the suspension components you've got the headlight covers here okay so you've got just the covers and you've got so the closed pop -up bits. and then the poppy up bits there as you call it so there for the raised lights you got the shocks that's a nice detail to have the shocks Mm, it's good, isn't it? Coil overs. Got suspension components. That's a spare tire that's going to be sitting underneath the front bonnet, yep. so you'll be able to see this detail underneath those louvers. You got your uh, door cards. This will be the racing dash. It's got a lot more controls on it, so it won't be using. Yeah, it won't be using that. What do you think? <coughs> that could be an oil cooler, or it could be a back trim. Yeah. <coughs> For the rear wing it's quite interesting it's got the cutouts there for the tail lights yeah it's pretty junky isn't it it's gonna look cool it would have been rubber back in the day <laughs> yeah that's right we're not going to have a problem recreating that with a bit of rubber paint no that's it rubber black or something like that there we go all right so that's no carbon screw. fiber back then mate no carbon fiber they had aluminium mate eh? what are we aluminium, looking at here? Aluminium. okay so a lot of black bits Bit of engine detail yeah <coughs> it's a bit of bit engine transmission you got your uh, steering rod there mm -hmm. yeah a bit more and of the framework suspension frame yep got the steering column right there you got some of the um, extinguishers which I won't be using on this version you got the hubs uprights drive shafts pedals there's two book. different um, steering wheels, so I'm assuming this will be the uh, Australia version. I like the three spoke. Three spoke? I think we should put that in. You want it? And then you've got all these different um, headlight reflectors. Won't be using any of them. Disc brakes. And more undercarriage. Yep, skid plate. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the majority of the plastic bits. So we've got another bag here. What have we got here? We've got the tyres. These are obviously the road going tyres. Yep, so these are all quite thin, they're all the same size. Yep. Okay, so you don't have the fatties on the rear that you would have with a rally car. Mm -hmm. but they do have some really nice detail. So you've got the poly caps there as well, so they can rotate. And then here you've got the, uh, the road tread. Is that already fully. Get me some focus, man. Let me zoom in, man. How's that? Oh, that is crisp. 
Okay, so we've got some really nice road tread. They should be good for at least 5,000 Ks. 5,000? Yeah. I think they feel like a 38 short tyre. Well, it depends on how you drive, eh? I've seen you drive. See me drive? I'm not that bad. Alright, so we've got our decals here. Quite a lot of different kinds of decals. We've got the um, seat belts. So you've mm -hmm. got racing seat belts if you want to put them in. There's a whole variety of different um, Stratus and Lancia uh, bedding. Well, so you've got I light colored ones. Been about like, what color you painted the car beach. Well, that's right. So you've got white ones or black ones. So obviously the black ones are for light, light colors and the white ones are for well, the dark colors. Well, we're going to paint this one red. What color do you think? Probably black. Black? Yeah, I reckon. And then there's some uh, registration numbers. And then you've got uh, instrument, instrumentation and some Petoni stickers there as well. Beautiful. Nice. Really good quality, isn't it? That's it. And then we've got some stainless steel stickers. Photo etched. Yeah. So these photo etched mirrors. So is it like polished steel that then like covered in decal? No. So so it's actually you've got a protective film across the top. Mm -hmm. So as you cut it out and you peel it off, so it's got a little bit of sticky so that the face of the the mirror will come off the the frontage still attached mm -hmm. and then the high adhesive is on the backing of that mirror wow so it allows you you've got something to hold on to you can see through it be able to place it where you need it and then press it down and then it'll be permanent and that's how you get perfect mirror finish because it is polished stainless steel well i can't wait to see you do that so you got your two pieces of launcher it's going to be a bit tricky to get in the middle very but tricky. that's going to look really good once it's on Alrighty, so what we got next, we got this bag of bits. Okay, so we've got the clear parts in here. We'll call it a bag of bits. Oh, she's in bits at the moment. The protective paper. <laughs> Alright, so what we've got here? We've got the clear parts and we've got the resin parts for the figurine. We've got your lady friend. That's it. Okay, so let's look at the clear parts first. So we've got a really curvaceous glass. Cur Curvaceous. Curvaceous. Okay, that's a glass. You can see through it. It's really nicely polished. Super smooth. Super smooth. A little bit of distortion, as you expect from a curved glass. Well, it's almost like a magnifying glass, isn't it? Yeah, well, look at it. But all the same, it is super clear. Yeah. No air bubbles. No, that's it. Super shiny, already, already polished. So we've got all the headlight lenses as well, which are for the spot lamps. You won't be using them. But there are the tail lights right here. Mm hmm. You've got the rear windscreen where uh, it separates the, the fireball with the rear engine. Tiny, isn't it? Mm. And then there's uh, some front fog lights and such. So they're the clear bits. And then we end up with our resin figurine. Okay, super nicely cast. So we've got two pieces here, but four pieces in all. Now, do you know think this? we should give her a name? Give her a name? What, what name do you reckon? I don't know. I'm thinking like Juliet. I don't know. That's Maybe. Italian, isn't it? Is it? Oh, it is, I guess. Is that focused? That's focused. I always like to concentrate on the face first because they're, they're the features that are going to make it look right mm -hmm. or not. Okay, so this is fully hand sculpted. Unlike some of the other figures these days, which are 3D printed first, I think this gives a much more organic look. And you can see just how clean the, the Japanese resin casting is. I can't believe the detail in the hair and it's not snapped. Well, that's it, because it takes a, a very good mold maker to be able to do all these undercuts to be able to pull the resin out nice and clean and crisp. So that's part of the art form, isn't it? Can she have a Hearns Racing t-shirt? For sure, we can organise that. Okay, so you've got a large piece here with the, the torso. There are some mold lines along here. You're always going to have some mold lines on a resin figure, so that just needs to be scraped back a little bit and sanded smooth. And then, of course, you've got the upper parts here. So you've got the leg and the arms. Mm -hmm. And they'll just need to be carefully trimmed off. You can see here, they've got a little bit of sprue, a little bit of sanding. And then these parts are super glued together. So resin needs a super glue. Super glue? Yep. Not contact cement? Not contact cement. And there's her hand with a little mobile phone. Will the rest of it we build with contact cement? Uh, we'll use um, plastic cement. Yeah. We'll use contactor or something like that. That'll be fine. But there you go. So there's a figure. So that's a bit special. That's what Julieta. makes Julieta. Yeah. So that's what makes this particular kit a limited edition. 
Well, it's going to make it more limited that we're going to build it. Yeah, true. Can we have a squiz in the instructions? Here we go. Let's zoom in out a bit. <coughs> okay, so we've got some photos of the actual finished model. Mm -hmm. Gives you a really good idea of how it is meant to go together and where to place the figurine. A little bit of history on the actual car. Over here we've got the legend of all the parts. So you can see here how they're sort of shared it amongst the, the rally version and the Stradale. Mm -hmm. All the, um, the shaded areas are the parts that are for the rally version that you won't be using on this particular version. And then Unless you want to do some sort of Frankenstein build. Yeah, you never know. You might want to put those lights on the front just for something different. Then we've got our colour chart here for the lacquer Mr. Hobby and then also the aqueous hobby numbers there. Okay, so let's crack it open with part one. And so they're got, super concise, aren't they? Oh yeah, so each step, there's there's a number of um, things going on in each step, but they're kept to a minimum so that it's easier to, to follow. Yep. So you're doing mainly interior here. You've got all the uh, the bulkheads and the framework for the engine bay. We've got the firewall. Mm -hmm. That's going in. Suspension components for the rear mm -hmm. end. Uh, that's all the, uh, the shocks and the disc brakes. We've got the seats going in. Center console. Part five, we've got the front end being worked on. So you've got the radiator, the spare tire, mm -hmm. and that's the bit that's gonna be seen through those those vents. What a great little touch. And then you've got your front suspension, you've got the double wishbone suspension. Interior, you've got the cockpit. This is all the dashboard yep. with the top um, sun visor. Well, There's the steering like wheel. We're gonna have to put the four spoke in. I'd like to keep it original. Yeah. Step seven, we've got the bodywork. Mm -hmm. You've got the clear going in for the glass. Some of the parts on the inside being painted, so interior colours and the trim. Uh, at this point you've got the rear end with the exhaust. We've got the uh, door cards going in uh, with the dashboard. And then we're getting towards the end of it. So all the finer parts on the body. You've got the rear wing, you've mm -hmm. got the louver, the top wing. And then you've got your lights, you get your choices of the, the flat covers or lights popped up. And then <coughs> we've got the intake. Yep. Little skid plate for the tunnel. That's a matter of squeezing it over. That's right, putting the body on top of the uh, uh, the interior floor mm -hmm. pan and then wheels and tires pressed on with the, the ploy caps. Finish off the rear with the uh, the tail lights and such. And then you've got your smaller bits, your mirrors, uh, the latch hooks. Really fine details. Yep. There's those decals that you were talking about. Yes, the mirror decals. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you end up with the figurine here. So the figurine doesn't have a lot of parts, but it just takes a lot of time in yep. the painting. And then we end up with the paint guide. So you've got the, the different colors that the actual Stradale was released in. Yep. So you can either do yellow, lime green, red, light blue, or the dark blue. Or any and color then, you want. Well, yeah, you could do any color you want, but they're like the factory colors. Yep. And then these are the, the corresponding interiors and um, seat colors that they came in. That is fantastic. And there you go. I can't wait to get stuck into this. It's going to be fun, right? It's going to be great fun. Okay, so that's the Hasegawa 124 scale Lancia uh, Stratus with Italian girl figure in resin. Now, 124 scale, is going to be, it's a compact car, so it's quite tight. I always like one of these figures there because the figures give it a lot of scale, so you get an idea of exactly how. Well, look at the size of her compared to the rest of the car. Like, yeah, they that's were right. quite a diminutive um, car. Yeah, that's right. Can you imagine how you know, quick they went around city blocks and stuff? Yeah. So, really good. Absolutely. So that's great. So check it out because we're going to be building it, aren't we? We're going to build it step by step. Yep. So you're going to learn and I'm going to be teaching. Yep. So I've got good. a lot to learn. Yeah. I don't think you know what you've got yourself in for, Beige. I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> so there you go. So join us with that as well. Hope you enjoyed the open boxing. So if you did like this video, please uh, give us a like down the bottom and think about subscribing uh, to our channel. Absolutely. Well, this has been Hearns Hobbies and thanks for watching. Thank you.